And in the absence of Brian Weller, our musical prelude this morning will be the Unity Singers. Thank you to Sally, Hannah, David, Michael, and Clark Ford for that beautiful song. And today is Sunday, January 28th, 2024. And um, this is Unity Church of Ames. So it's good to see everybody this morning, whether you're here in person or on joining us online. We're happy you're here. And I am Susan Wolf, today's platform assistant. And our lesson for today is You Say Love Is with Sue Bertraza Nager as our guest speaker. And our chaplain for, for today is Lynn Hedberg. She'll be available to pray with you after the service in our prayer room. And um, she will also be holding in prayer uh, prayer needs for the week. So um, if you have a prayer need, get in touch with Lynn. Now for transformational opportunities. Uh, in the Book Nook news, Barb McKelvey is also under the weather at the time, and uh, but the church will be open nonetheless from 1 to 3 on Wednesday afternoon, um, and you, you're still welcome to come and purchase your literature. The January-February Daily Word is now on sale for $2.50. And also, um, the Unity Magazine is available for checkout for a one-week loan. We have the um, 40 Days Let Go and Let God Lenten booklet available for $1.50. And the um, new calendar as well. The Spiritual Sunshine, 100 Years of Daily Word is the title of that one this year. And there are a lot of beautiful pictures. So come, please come and, and get your copy. Um, on the 21st of, or excuse me, 31st of January, from 6.30 to 7, there will be no live meditation in the sanctuary. Uh, but you can find one online on uh, our YouTube page or our Facebook page. January 25th and through the 12th of February, Rev Deb and Todd are, are in California on vacation. So there is no live meditation um, uh, until Ash Wednesday, which is February 14th, when she will be back. Looking ahead, February 4th, love as a spiritual power. Once again, Sue Pedraza Nagel, our licensed unity teacher, will be giving the lesson 
on that day at 1030 in the sanctuary and live stream on Facebook and YouTube. Looking ahead in February, February 4th, the Pounds for Hounds and Kitties 2 begins again for the year. So please make your checks avail uh, make your checks payable to Story County Animal Shelter um, or cash is welcome as well. So the Pounds for Hounds and Kitties 2 will be going through February. And it is a fundraiser for the Story County Animal Shelter. As always, there will be the prayer call every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 11. And so please join that call if you're willing and able or let someone uh, be aware of your prayer need. Now, uh, let's see. Uh, oh, at, uh, and the board affirms the mask wearing and COVID vaccinations are personal choice, and we appreciate you doing, caring for each other in this way. So now we will have, please join me for an opening prayer. What I can offer you by Rich Orloff. I cannot fix your pain. I cannot solve your problem. I can't prevent the sorrow you're feeling or even guarantee I'll make you smile. However, because I've known joy embracing me and disappearing in the middle of the night, feeling safe and despairing, if I'll ever feel safe again, lowering my guard and being ambushed by camouflage demons. And because I've also known the miracle of healing when pain seemed inescapable, the joy of connection, when isolation had me surrounded, love returning and apologizing for its absence. Because I have experienced enough, no, in my life to understand tragedy, because I've been surprised enough by enough yes in my life to maintain hope, because I've known all these things and more, I will gladly hold your hand so you don't have to face the pains of life alone. And I will wait with you patiently until the next miracle arrives. And so it is. So we let it be. Amen. Now, please join me for our... Um, uh, abundant flows blessing. Abundant, abundant blessings, blessings flow, flow to me, me and through me. me. I'm, I'm alive, alive, with alive with creative energy, energy awake to, to prospering ideas, ideas and, and open, open to unlimited goodness. goodness. Please stand now if you're willing and able for the awakening. <laughs> Good to key. Okay. Another day, another way. I have come for my awakening. Another start for my heart. I have come for my awakening. Another day, another way. I have come for my awakening, another start for my heart. I have come for my awakening, it's a new day for creation. I am at the starting line. I will dream my destination and make it mine. It's already mine. Another day, another way. I have come for my awakening. Another start for my heart. I have come for my awakening, another day, another way. I have come for my awakening, another start for my heart. I have come for my awakening, 
We are here for celebration. There is wisdom in our love. From our heart's imagination, our vision now, we're at the bar. Another day, another way, I have come for my awakening. Another star for my heart. I have come for my awakening, another day, another way, I have come for my awakening, another start for my heart, I have come for my awakening, I have come for my awakening, I have come for my awakening. Yeah. Now please greet each other. It's time for uh, our greetings. Give each, give yourself a hug. Hello to everybody. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. Hello to you at home. So good to see you all. Hello. Hello again. Yeah. <laughs> And now please join me for the Unity Worldwide Ministries Foundation Statement. There is only one presence and one power in the universe and in my life, God the good, omnipotence, and also the Unity Church of Ames Affirmation. Through the Christ Spirit in us, we create a better church and a better world. So, so be it. it. And our daily word for today is free. Divine wisdom, love, and strength guide me to freedom. While I may not be able to control what is happening around me, I have the power to choose my response. Even though it may seem paradoxical, Assuming complete responsibility for my actions and choices is the key to my freedom. No one and nothing can make me feel a certain way. Living from this awareness gives me the power to create my life from the inside out. I choose my thoughts, words, and actions. If I don't like what my feeling, what my life is showing me, I have the power to make new choices. I do not squander my spiritual freedom. Other people and worldly situations have no control over me. Taking full responsibility for my life, I'm free to create my future by living from my divinity. And from 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 16, as servants of God, Live as free people. Do not use your freedom as a pretext for evil. And now for the congregational song, stand if you're willing and able for one, one foot lead with love. Mm -hmm. You gotta put one foot in front of the other and lead with love for one foot in front of the other and lead with love you gotta put one foot in front of the other and lead with love for one foot in front of the other and lead with love don't give up hope don't give up hope you're not alone don't you give up. Don't you give up. Keep moving on. Keep moving on. You got to put one foot in front of the other and lead with love. Put one foot in front of the other and lead with love. Lift up your eyes. Lift up your eyes. Don't you despair. Don't you despair. Look up, Look up ahead, the path is there. You gotta put one foot in front of the other and lead with love. Put 
one foot in front of the other and lead with love. I know you're scared. And I'm scared too. But here I am. Right next to you. You gotta put one foot in front of the other and lead with love. Put one foot in front of the other and lead with love and lead with love. Be seated and please welcome me. Join me in welcoming Sue Pedraza Nagel for You Say. Love is. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. And good morning to Brian, who is taking a rest. He's not feeling very well today, but our Unity sin Singers rocked it. Yes, 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 yes. And our a cappella group here in the sanctuary is tremendous. It's gorgeous. So, Brian, get well. And when you come back, we have voices. We have voices for you. So, I want to read something. I was going to save it for the end but something is telling me to read this first. This is from Pierre Genti. Genti. I apologize if I butchered that last name. You are worthy of love, even when you feel worthless, even when you feel you're not enough, even when you don't see reason to love what you see in the mirror. Just think about that and hold that in your heart space. You are worthy of love, for you are a beloved of God, of our divine source, that energy, that movement behind all things. Well, as we know, Rev. Deb is on vacation for some much-deserved R&R. Some of us have already seen pictures on Facebook, and we bless her, and we hope she's having a wonderful time, and I hope that the weather holds for her. She deserves it. And before we dig into today's lesson, I would just like to put in a little plug for a special day that's coming up, and you may want to uh, know about it, keep it in mind, um, center yourself for that special day. It's coming up on that time of year in a little over two weeks, a day will be here for secret admirers and lovers, girlfriends, boyfriends, husbands, wives, significant others. All those others that want to express their feelings with special cards and heartfelt words of love and sometimes precious gifts. I know I get one from my puppy every year. I don't know how that happens, but I'm always amazed and I always feel love when I see a card from my dog. The colors of pink and red will be in vogue. Chocolate will be the major food group. And florists and other stores will sell out of flowers, especially roses. It's the day of love and admiration. Remember, you are a beloved. You are loved. Hold that. This will have clarity at the end of the lesson, at the end of this talk, at the end of my thoughts. And as always, there will be homework. Today and in the coming weeks, 
we will become familiar with self-love, loving others, loving God expressing and being that expression, exuding that love outward. There are three words that we are going to use to describe love. One is philatia, which is self-love. Another word will be hesed and agape. The Greek word philatia in English is self-love. The Greeks understood early that in order to care for and love others, we must first be able to direct that emotion and that feeling inward. It may seem obvious, and this is important. A lot of us don't think about this. The relationship we have with ourselves is one we'll be in the longest. The relationship we have with ourselves is the one we will be in the longest. How does that look right now? How's that relationship going? Today we're going to invite love in and experience it. And we'll see if we can fill ourselves up. In Matthew 22, 39, in part, it states, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. But do you? Do you love yourself? Oh, that self-talk. For some of us, our love meter might be a little low. So how can we love our neighbor? Remember that airline safety instruction at the beginning of every flight. Many of you have heard me talk about this before. If the oxygen mask drops, put the oxygen mask on yourself first before you put it on your child. Now, there may be those that might say, but Sue, that doesn't make sense. It's selfish. What about your child? Your child should come first. You are no good to your child. If you are gasping for oxygen and you pass out. So therefore, you are no good to your neighbor. You are no good to your relatives and your friends if you don't fill up yourself with love. You need to fill yourself up. You are a beloved of God. You are love. That divine principle is with you at all times. Some of us might get a little cranky and say, oh, no, no. Now, when you're cranky, just like a cranky child to a parent, Parent still loves the child. And then we send the child to go take a nap. We need to fill ourselves up. The word love is both a noun and a verb. So it's something we can call something or something we do. It is an intense feeling of deep affection and to have a great interest and pleasure in something. Chocolate. Puppy breath. The purr of a kitten. 
I'm allergic to cats, but you put a cat or a kitten on my lap and have it purr and I am frozen in place. That sound is just, it just sends me. It just sends me. I also love to camp. So think about this. The sound of the rain on the leaves. Oh, I love it. And when I tent camped, as long as it wasn't flooding, the sound of the rain on the tent. I loved it. It was so soothing. Something else we might love. When we sit in our favorite recliner chair and we feel like the chair is hugging us. Ah. When a student comes up to a teacher and tells you how much they loved your class, how much they appreciated the teacher calling on that student because he was just dying to give the answer because it was one, maybe the only one, but it was the one that he actually knew. I remember when I was a kid in school and I was one of those kids that sat in the back of the class because I thought I could get away with stuff. But when the teacher called on me when I was actually paying attention and raised my hand, I felt seen. I felt loved. I also felt that I ought to pay attention the rest of the class because he, they saw me. Love, that feeling. What happens when we get that feeling of love? Do our pupils dilate a little bit? I'm sure there's a science. There's, there's hormones involved and adrenaline. Our blood pressure kicks up a little bit when we see our boyfriend or our, our husband do something we ask them to do once instead of five times. <sighs> Or when our significant other makes a meal and it's a surprise. Doesn't our heart race a little bit with that overflowing love? That adrenaline just kicks up a little bit. In order to assist in reconnecting with your self-love today, I'd like to give you three gifts. In the book, The Sacred Human, Jim Rosemergy, he states, the first gift of love is acceptance. The first gift of love is acceptance. Some of us may be hard pressed to accept this gift because deep down inside, we don't think we're worthy or we won't be accepted because our viewpoints might be different or we have different opinions or we dress different or our hairstyle is different or we have, we think in terms of, well, you won't like me because I'm different. I'll let you in on a little secret. I love you because you're all different. Because when I talk to my friends and I talk to my family here at Unity and we have different viewpoints or we have different ideas, I learn from that. When I see a different hairstyle, I see different clothes. Maybe that'll look good on me. Some of the clothing might be a little young or eccentric. And I'm at that state 
of my life, stage of my life where I'm going to be eccentric. I like that word. You may find me with blue hair one day. I'm going to be eccentric. The love of acceptance. I love that our viewpoints aren't the same. I love that we walk unity together on, on side-by-side -side paths. Not all of us are truth students. Not all of us are great metaphysicians. Not all of us sing well, but we sing. And we walk together down the path. And we share our different ideas. And we have that aha moments. We find it truly challenging to accept ourselves as we are, not just as other people see us. Instead, we chastise ourselves for not being good enough. And for some, this can happen before our first cup of coffee in the morning. We just roll out of bed, stub our toe, and go, Ugh! That dresser's been there for 20 years, and I still manage to stub my toe. How could you be so, insert adjective here. The wonderful thing is, is that you're upright. Your heart is beating. You can feel pain. The coffee's still waiting for you. And you are beloved of God. Be open and receptive to the gift of acceptance. We are good enough as we are. Yes, we are. Oh, yes. When we have filled ourselves with self-love, we can go higher. We can raise ourselves up. We have that ability. But right here and right now, meet yourself where you're at. Fill your love meter up. Fill that up. Acceptance. As I affirm for you and with you, take this and hold this into your heart, into your love space. I love this person I take myself to be. I love this person I take myself to be. I accept with love who I am. Accept with love who you are. I love me. I love me. You are beloved. Acceptance. Be that. And if there's any chattering from the committee upstairs like I have right now, that's saying, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? And I explain to the committee while I'm speaking, that we went through this last night. Stop it. We are worthy. We accept. I have it. I have it. Sometimes they, they get a little. We all have them. I'm just brave enough to admit it. The second gift I'd like to give you today is appreciation. Love as appreciation. Appreciation for who we have come to be. Each of us are unique. We have different talents, life travels, life experiences, different stories to tell. Especially in this room, we have, we have carpenters, we have singers, we have dancers, we have professors, we have teachers, we have, I just lost the word, lyricists, P 
people who create music. We all have stories to tell. I am in awe of those who can sing high notes because I usually sing in the basement. I am in awe. How do you do that? How do you get your vocal cords to work that high? How do you come up with those beautiful songs, Clark? How are people able to teach adults at a college level when you see the sea of people, of adults, not paying attention? I am in awe. I so appreciate each and every one of you. So I give you that gift of appreciation. Appreciate yourselves. We are awesome. You are awesome. We have come so far on this journey. And that's no small feat. Look at us. All of us are over the age of two. So we all have stories to tell. And none of us, none of us have just sat in a building waiting for life to come to us. We have gone out and lived life. Oh, the stories I could tell. We could all do that. Some stories we'd like to keep hidden, but those are the juiciest, best stories. Because that's how we have come to be who we are today. When we as adults have fallen on the ground and skinned our knees figuratively or almost got arrested or, you know, couldn't pay a bill. So it makes us who we are. When we have an opportunity to play for the public because we play musical instruments or paint. I see these painting parties, these wine painting parties, and everybody in the group paints this picture that is phenomenal. And I am in awe. I don't know how that happens. Excuse me a moment. <coughs> it's always once during a talk. So take a look in the mirror of your soul. Take a look in the mirror. And appreciate the wonder that you are. Just take a moment. Look at yourself like somebody else would. And appreciate you. <clears throat> take another moment. Look at who you are. That's cr quite a piece of craftsmanship because you are a beloved. I may be a beloved, but the frog in my throat. <coughs> I have a cartoon of the frog dancing on stage in my head. You all know who that is. Okay, honor that small voice inside that says it's time to rest. Be patient with yourself. Take a time out, a bit of self-care. That isn't selfishness, that's self-care. Everyone needs renewal time. Appreciate who you are. If you need an example of what that looks like, Rev Deb is the perfect example. She's expressing self-care right now, probably sitting on the beach, looking at her phone, watching the service. 
but three weeks of pure bliss, self-care. And it might be different for all of us, but take that moment for self-care. Remember, we are spiritual beings having human experiences. We have gotten into this crazy habit of a human doing instead of human beings. Accept the gift of appreciation and honor yourself with self-care right where you are. Affirm in your heart these words. It is with all that I am that I accept the gift of appreciation. <clears throat> that frog with the top hat and tails really wants to sing. The third gift is gratitude. Accept the gift and practice gratitude for the body carrying you around. The body that carries us. <clears throat> it's the only one we have. Even with the frog. I don't know what's going on. <clears throat> I accept the frog in top hat and tails. What are we grateful for? I'm grateful for my humor. Because quite frankly, it's embarrassing standing up here coughing, trying to give a service. But my imagination took over and said, oh, look, you have a frog in your throat. Hello, my honey. Hello, my baby. If you don't look him up, I forget what his name is, but it's a frog in top hat and tails. It's a cartoon. So what are we grateful for? The heart that keeps beating without fail. The lungs which function without thought. When was the last time you had to think about breathing in and exhaling? Okay, I might have had to do that when I was coughing, but besides the point. For those of us sitting at home and for those of us here in the sanctuary, we don't think about breathing in and out. It's automatic. Our heart beats automatically. The brain is held tightly so that we are able to think, talk, reason, share stories, share emotions, and so much more. That's quite a work of art up there inside that piece of bone. But we don't have to think about it. Am I going to think today? Do I have to go through the list of chores? We had a song, put one foot in front of the other. Our brain balances us so that we're able to walk. We don't think about it. We are such a creative work of art. Here's another one. Gratitude for our skin. The, our skin protects us. It is the largest organ we have. It's deserving of our gratitude. The way it heals itself when it's injured Wonder of wonders. You cut yourself, you get a hangnail, you get scratched by the cat, you get licked by the dog. You trip over a branch outside while you're hiking and you get a bruise. It heals itself. It's amazing. Love that part of you. Oh, yeah, I know. Well, still, I've got some wrinkles here I'm not really happy with. Those are called life events. The history of who you are on your body. 
we don't look like we did when we were two because we were busy growing. Those are historical events. The skin stretches, we get taller, we get wider, we get bigger. Those are historical events for our body. If we think about it, we can, we can tell ourselves just when we started getting those wrinkles. Be proud of them. Consumerism tells us, you know, we need this wrinkle cream and we need this cream and we need... Now, a good moisturizer to keep the dry skin from cracking, a little hand lotion to keep your skin from cracking, that's good enough. Our body tells a story of us. And it's magnificent because we are beloved. We are a wonderful work of art. Bless and love your body with exercise, perhaps a massage. Meditate. Sit still, be still, and meditate and pray. Remember, Myrtle Fillmore used to bless every single cell in her body. Every organ in her body, she blessed. She sat still in the silence and she prayed and she blessed every cell in her body. And she healed herself. Meditate. Or, if none of that works, do my favorite. Take a nap. My husband is wonderful. I take naps. I take naps often because I work nights. So during the day, this is kind of foreign. And when my body is tired, I take a nap. And it's probably going to come up at about 1, 2 o'clock because I'm not used to being awake during the day because I work at night. And my husband honors that because... Go take a nap. Sometimes he has to remind me, honey, you're getting cranky. Go take a nap. <laughs> Honor yourself where you're at. You are beloved. So here's another affirmation for you. I am grateful for this magnificent piece of wonder called my body. I will whisper affirmations of love toward my body and it will respond. I will whisper affirmations of love to my body and it will respond. Three gifts of love to get us started on our way to filling our love center to fill to the top, and here comes the frog again. <coughs> Acceptance, appreciation, and gratitude. Start today. Create affirmations just for you. Write them down. Place them in strategic places in your home and car. Sticky notes, I love sticky notes. And when I really want to get creative, there's always the dry erase board or the dry erase markers. I used to put it, I used to put affirmations in my bathroom mirror. When I started in Unity, my daughter saw an affirmation every day. Buy yourself flowers. When was the last time you bought flowers for yourself? Because you loved yourself, not because they were pretty and they would look good in the middle of the dining room table. When was the last time you bought yourself a dozen roses? Because you deserved roses. Not that your significant other doesn't buy you roses and great things, but when did you do for yourself? Buy 
buy yourself a card and mail it to yourself. Oh, yeah, that might sound silly, but do it because the minute you see it in the mail, you go, oh, it didn't get lost in the mail. I have a card from me. What was on that card again? And it's a surprise. Buy a card, mail it to yourself. Write a poem. Buy a box of chocolate. The good kind. The good kind. Go to that little shop down on Main Street here in Ames. Get the good chocolate. You deserve it. If it's only two pieces, it's only two pieces. But get the good chocolate. Have them wrap it up. Tell them it's a gift. Watch them wrap it up because you know it's for you. They're going to wrap it up really pretty because they think you're sending it to somebody. And take it home and admire it and love yourself. Fill yourself up and eat it. Don't give it to somebody else. It's a gift to you from you. Get a piece of chocolate. Remember to have self-care moments. Pray, meditate, nap, exercise, take a walk in the woods. Write down your life experiences and share them with a friend. <clears throat> Be gentle, kind, and loving towards yourself, for that is the only way we can start to love others. We need to fill ourselves up with love because it's an inside job. So let's start today. And let's start right now by singing our way into meditation. Pour yourself in me, pour yourself into my heart. Oh, wonderful spirit, pour your love in me. Pour your love into my heart. Oh, wonderful spirit. Pour your life in me. Pour your life into my heart. Oh, wonderful spirit. We bring our attention into this moment, focusing on our breathing as we sit in the space we are in and just relax. Breathe in, realizing behind each breath who or what breathes us. Focus on your heart center, spreading that pink light of love Think these thoughts as I say them. Think them in your heart center. I love this person I take myself to be. I accept the love of who I am. I love me.
I breathe in the gift of acceptance. I am part of everything that is all that has been or will ever be. It is with all that I am that I accept the gift of appreciation. And I breathe in the gift of appreciation. Love is reflected in love. My body is an amazing gift. My years on the planet have taught me how to listen to and take loving care of my body. I am in vibrant health. I breathe in the gift of gratitude. And just for a moment in the silence, repeat the words of the gifts that have been given today of acceptance, appreciation, and gratitude. Just repeat those words to yourself. And as we feel ourselves filling up with that love presence, we keep those thoughts in mind of acceptance, appreciation, and gratitude. We thank our mind and our heart and our body. And we say amen. Pour your light in me, pour your light into my heart, whoa, wonderful spirit. And now for the homework. Huh, you're not getting away that easy. I told you there's going to be some homework. Here's an exercise that I would like us all to do. And I gave it to you all a couple of years ago. Let's do it again. Practice it every day. For the rest of the time that we're together. And you have me for another two weeks. So for two more weeks, starting today and for two weeks after. Look in the mirror of your home. We all have one. See yourself, really, really see yourself. I know the first thing you look at in the morning is bed hair. <laughs> see yourself. Hug yourself like you love yourself and say the affirmation, God is love and this love surrounds me in love. I appreciate who I am. I am grateful for who I am. I accept who I am. See and feel that love radiating, radiating inward and outward. It may be a challenge, but you got this. You got this. I believe in you. See the beauty of the love shining through as you, as you challenge yourself to complete this exercise. 
and release any thoughts of the committee upstairs saying, oh, that's weird. Oh, that was awkward. You've got morning breath. This is embarrassing, goofy, or uncomfortable. Release those denials. Just release those and affirm gratitude, appreciation, love, care. You love yourself. We are worthy. And we'll talk about it next week. Okay. Where are we at? We are offering. Yay. I'm working on it. <laughs> Would you like to say the offering prayer with me? Divine, Divine love, love through, through me blesses, blesses and, multiplies and multiplies all that I am, all that I, am, all that that I have, have, all that, that I give, and all that, that I receive. And I am, am joy-filled and grateful. grateful. And it says you can give online on our website or send your check right here to the Unity Church of Ames. May the road rise with you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face. May the rain fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the hollow of her hands. Thank you. And as I hold these offerings at my love space, at my love space, we know that the inflow and the outflow overflows. We hold these offerings, these tithes, these thoughts this care with appreciation, gratitude, and acceptance. We are so forever grateful. Amen. And we together say, thank you, God. Thank, thank you, God. God. Thank, thank you, God. God. <laughs> Please join me in the peace song. <clears throat> Let there be peace on earth, and let it begin with me. Let there be peace on earth, the peace that was meant to be. With God as creator, Family, all are we. Let us walk with each other in perfect harmony. Let peace begin with me. Let this be the moment now. With every step I take, let this be my joy as far. To take each moment and live each moment in peace eternally. Let there be peace on earth and let it be.
prayer of protection. The, the light, light of, of God, God surrounds us. us. The, the love, love of God, God enfolds us. The power of God, God protects us. And the presence of God watches over us. Wherever, wherever we are, God, God is, and all is well. Amen. Okay. Oh, yes. We love you. We bless you. We appreciate you. And we behold the Christ in you. Thank you. Can that be an alternate homework assignment instead of. Change the rule. Oh, <laughs> no. No. See you next week, folks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. <laughs>